status. Columbia assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. source checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just the company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Got what we came for. Move out. Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown. But we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Gregory Arthur is, right? The famous American actor? Have you seen him around the city? No? Please tell him to come see me if you do. He's got a photo shoot inside the tower and Mr. Rangan does not like to wait around. Gregory Arthur, a famous Broadway star, is apparently late for a photo shoot inside Rangan's unfinished tenement tower. Hang on. He uploaded a selfie on social media about half an hour ago. Hmm. The Mumbai Food District. He's likely still there, 47. I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. Comes the vomit train. Gotta find somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. Seven. That's the Maelstrom. You found him. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Let's finish this one. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Can you hear me? There's some random guy. I think he's been attacked. Interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting.
See what you have in your pockets today. Gotta get Friss first. This is supposed to be a construction site, right? Public kidare. Where the hell is everybody? I don't know, but I heard Mr. Dawood send somebody to dig a swimming pool while the filming goes on. Fuck you, dear. Swimming pool, my ass. You know what the problem is? We just can't get proper work. All right, everyone, take five. I need a few moments. Mr. Arthur, over here. Mr. Arthur. I'm here. Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good. Blundering Frights. I thought it was a brilliant performance in a very funny horror comedy. Oh, thank you. You know, my brother directed it. <laughs> I'll be sure to let him know you liked it. Hmm. It didn't do very well, but, but I understand it has become something of a cult classic in Europe. I think it's a misunderstood masterpiece. The camera work alone is magnificent. I mean, obviously, I'm a little tainted by my profession. But I think everything from the lighting to the cinematic tools used was just amazing. Is it true it's based on the Cassandra Snow? Well, yes, I, I suppose so. How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's do this. Great. Folks, let's all get into position for the big photo. All right. Well, show me those teeth now. This is a big moment. Final rush. Everyone's happy, right? So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of Mumbai Hero soon. I've got big plans for us. Hmm? Big plans. I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. 
agents. I never did like them. Dekho, I prefer the more direct approach. Achha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some international roles soon. So, my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work. Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me. <laughs> if you say so, Mr. London. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come, shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private word. Like I suggest you this. humor the man. You're beautiful, Mr. Rangan. Oh, maybe this way is good, huh? The women really like this pose. Are <laughs> when I pull off this look? All housewives in a two-mile radius will faint automatically. You're a natural at this, Mr. Rangan. All right. I think that's enough beauty shots for one day. Great. That's a wrap, then. Champagne for everyone. Are Mekarao, great things will come from this movie, guys. Let me tell you, I've got a feeling that this one is the one. That will make me famous. You know, it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business, yaar. You know, I got the champagne from a movie business contact. You know, he was so impressed. Hey, production. have an okay day, okay? He just insisted on sponsoring the party, yaar. Famous film director in America. Yaar, I might go there next week to talk about distribution deals for Mumbai Hero. Mr. Rangan, you wanted to see me. Ah, Gregory. Yes, yes. Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. Gregory, Gregory. As you know, there's a lot at stake with a production like this. Hmm? Everyone needs to play ball. We are on the same team after all. But it's important to establish a pecking order. Soon, all of Mumbai will be mine. I'm sure you can imagine what that means. Okay, Gregory. I just need my friend here to pat you down. Don't want any recording devices or things like that accidentally going off. Hmm? I'm sure you understand. If you want to come through this way, I'm going to have to do a quick pat down. Funny. My mother always said I had good hands. Said I should have been a surgeon. And you are good to go, sir. Thank you.
अरे हेल्प भी ऑलरेडी समबडी आई डोंट डाउट रैंक इन is confirmed killed just one target left let's bring this one home Not so fast there, pretty boy. Mark my words. did you have any luck? No. That tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the Royal Guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you... It appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. Oh, no. You there? Sir, please. Oh, Vikram. What are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. 
Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. So, he's just hiding in there now? Yeah. Shah sent someone over to talk to him, but he refused to come down. It's you. Did you bring the cloth from this ship? Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time! Come with me! Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. If you want to pass, you need to be frisked first. Is that a problem? Hold that position. We'll be done in no time. Go on ahead. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't. Disappoint her then. That is a good idea. Hey. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Yes, here we are. She stopped. Just go through there. I am not sure. But yes. Uh, this is really uncomfortable, sir. I can smell you. Here we are. Just go through there. The queen is waiting for you in the garden. I know, my friend. That is not the wise decision to make when in a financial situation such as yours. Of course, eventually you'll have extra hands to assist you with your income. Provided that is Vanya Shah. Self-appointed queen of that the Mumbai the slums. Raji is not well. Five years, Mr. Hussein. Five, five years, my queen. Yes, five additional years of servitude to your queen, for you and your wife. In exchange, I will take care of the bills for your new one until she is old enough to work the spinning mills. That is my offer, Mr. Hussein. Talk it over with your wife. I expect your acceptance tonight. Good day. Ah, the elusive tailor. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution okay, up to you. You there. Leave us. I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain one of the other tapes left us behind. You can use that. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. Please. 
found kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit.